I'm uh, down at Weymouth Harbour and today I'm fishing for mullet, thick lip mullet, using bread and a waggler. An eight pound mainline on a reel, uh, just a normal commercial 13 foot float rod. Two SSG float, a couple of number sixes, about eight inches apart, six inches apart probably, to size 10 barbed hook. And I think I can see Paul behind me, so I'll go over and say hello. Hi Sam. How are you? Very good, you? Have you had any? <laughs> What's your favourite brand of bread to use as hook bait? For, for hook bait, I use a slightly more expensive um, bread, but then ground bait just use the cheapest of the cheap. It's got more fat in it, so it's got, it's got more oil in it. That's a neep today. It's the neepest of neeps, yeah. Have you plumbed it? Yeah. Are you on bottom? Yeah, I've got about I'd come eight, a mullet head off. Eight inches. Mullet head off. What, off the bottom? Yeah. Oh, really? I've yet to actually catch a proper thick lip mullet. Came here a year ago to try and um, change all that. Eventually did hook one and it smashed me to pieces. So my confidence is about zero and I'll be pleased with any size fish. We've both had a bite which uh, caught me off guard, I completely missed it. Just asking Sam what his bite ratio is. He says on some days it can be two to one, other days it can be did you say, 30 to one. Yeah, some days. So I still don't feel very confident. We're just fishing down there, about six and a half foot deep. How the hell do you manage to actually land them once you hook them? Because that, all that um, I think I think with harbour mullet, with harbour mullet fishing, it's a case of hook them first and then worry about it. Worry about it afterwards. Yeah, worry about it when you've got one on. And is your landing net long enough for that drop? Because that's a hell of a drop. Um, with the two of us, yeah, because I can probably lean over. Okay, you've got a, you've got a slider on then. Yeah. Can't believe how much shot you've got down by the hook as well. Well, we all about. We found that having shot up, you weren't registering in the clear water. We could see the fish taking the bread. Yeah. And the float wasn't moving. That's far away from me. Normally, it's half that again. Really. You just strike at everything. Everything. What's your biggest mullet from the harbour? Your seven two. Seven two. Have you seen fewer of them each year? Size, yeah. Not quantity, um, but I always go down to your bait. Ooh. I missed that bite. So you catch them at any state of the tide? Yeah, whenever I can get here, I just fish it. Yeah. Is it better in mornings and evenings? Um, probably. But it also depends depends on the tide. I like a neat because then you've got water all tied. I think on a really hot day they've got they're a bit sunbathy, but they still they still will feed. You used to feed a fish for the goldens out, out towards the pier and that was good fun. But I just love watching a float. I love it. Uh, how much hook point do you like to have showing? As little as possible. Alright, so the fish are feeding. Um plenty showing. Um Sam's just spotted a nice fish and they're all thick lips. I'm glad he's here because I'm not very good at telling the difference still, but any of those thicks? Uh, Some days when I'm fishing I get pestered so much. Fish. You see him take it? I missed it. Yeah, I'm in, Sam. Oh, it's a crab. <laughs> it's a beauty. I was going to give up mullet fishing because I stood here all day without, without getting any hookups. I hooked one about half an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're nice when you can see, Paint really gingerly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm tapping yeah. myself. Must be filming this. Really. What's funny, Will, is that I said 
Where is the, does anyone know where the live webcam camera is? No idea, sorry mate. No, latest fellas. Yeah, There's a big live webcam thing that shows Weymouth somehow, but... <laughs> no idea. And my mate's watching it from London. Cool. Good job there, Charlie. Do you want to film no, it? I'm milking it then. <laughs> it's not huge, but uh, it's, it's bigger than you think, mate. I'll tell you that. It's much bigger than I've ever caught before. Nice fish. Oh, no, no, bowl. You can't do that, mate. What's that? He's, he's, he's like, who knows it? <laughs> What's funny is I said, have you ever hooked a fish whilst leaving the oh, no, rod, leaning no, against no. the Can railing? I, I hit it as it's leaning against the railing. Right, Charlie, I, I'm not going to stab for it or anything. I'm, I'm not even going to rush it. I can't scoop it like an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> scoop it like a sand pitcher. I think it's thin. <laughs> nah. I don't, Charlie, what, I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking towards creepy. me. Hey? I'm walking towards me. Yeah, I'm going to. Right, what's what's oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bloody cool yeah, one. Nice one, Charlie. <laughs> I'm well made up for you. That is cool. It's a cracker, isn't it? See, that's that's absolutely, absolutely nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Tip top boots. There you go. Oh, well done. Um, I don't bring any weighing scales. I'd, I'd easily say 3-12-4. Three, three, what do you reckon, Bowles? I don't know, I'm not very good with that. No, I reckon it's about three, three. No, bigger than three. Do you reckon? Yeah, um, four, well done. <laughs> Cheers, Sam. <laughs> Should have stayed here. He's going to jump. Um, yeah. Thanks for bringing that net, bud. I think I would have struggled yeah. in mine. Sorry, that's a, that's a chunk. Bigger, way bigger than three. It's, it's not, it doesn't matter about weighing them, does it? No. Does this just go down automatically, Bolt? Yeah, just if it's jammed, just crack and wreck it. Just was saying to Will I was going to give up my lip for shink because I'm, I seem, was seemingly cursed. Cheers, Will. Nice to see you, Liam. Cheers, Liam. See you, mate. No one else caught today. Sam had some missed bites. Um, so, all in all, I'm very lucky to have caught that fish. Will hooked one on the surface and after being told to loosen his drag ignored the advice from Sam and paid the ultimate price he uh, bent his hook out what's a Camazon hook wasn't it Camazon specialist Camazon yeah. yeah bent out straight did you feel his drag no I mean it was tight was it yeah oh sh no you missed that didn't I you clown no absolute sick. <laughs> oh no Get back in there. I still, do you want some slot? I've got some slot. Do you want some more slot? Just get to those videos. The amount of fish I've lost from trying to video record. <laughs> I get really annoyed when I play. Do you? Yeah, really annoyed. Because I know I could have done better. I still have bites to be fair. I had that nightmare up there when I had a tank. Where is that? Yeah, let's call cool it. Oh man, four or five pounds. I reckon it was a big one, yeah. Well, you reckon that other one he hooked was big as well? Yeah. 